Hello, hello, hello everyone. Welcome on back to my channel and to another haul video. Off memory, I think it's been a little while since I've done a haul video, mainly because I've been waiting for a bunch of things. Um, I've had like bits and pieces come through. I've had some of this sitting here for months. And then of course I do have some items here that I purchased during Black Friday. Not a lot. I think I, off the top of my head, I only purchased from three stores for Black Friday this year, um, which is fine because, I mean, I haven't done a lot of shopping of late. You guys know I've been trying to use the kits that I have and obviously I am subscribed to the Scribble Prints Co. Mystery Kit, which there are a couple of here. Um, so at a bare minimum, I'm getting at least one kit a month, um, which goes straight into my collection and straight into my planner if it fits on the season or the, you know, whatever it is that I'm planning. Um, and I have used quite a couple of those mystery kits this year, which was, sorry, last year because we are now in 2022. And before I forget, happy new year, everyone. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas, a lovely new year. Um, but yes, <laughs> essentially this haul is a 2020 haul. Um, I haven't purchased anything in January as of yet. I mean, we are only four, 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 five days in, so we will see. Um, but yeah, this is a collection of everything that I sort of hoarded in the back end of 2020, as well as my Black Friday orders. So because there is a bit here, it's probably going to be a bit of a long video. So if you haven't already, grab yourself a snack, grab yourself a drink. Um, I have my trusty little coffee here in my cute little, I don't think you can see it and I don't want to tip it. But I have this cute little mug from Not Your Cup of Tea that says coffee and Christmas music. So I'm getting the most out of my Christmas items as well. Um, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump on into it in no particular order. Okay, so there is going to be a kind of order to this. I've decided that I might try and do things. I'm going to do my regular non-Black Friday items first. Um, I was going to do them by shop. I'm not sure yet because one of the shops I bought for bought from in the Black Friday sale. I've also got an order here that's been sitting here for quite a bit. We will see it. Let's just go ahead and jump into it. So the first thing that I'm going to show you guys, and let me just zoom in. Let me put that there for a little perspective. So the first item that I have to show you is my SPC mystery kit. So like I mentioned earlier, I do get the SPC mystery kit each month. Um, and this this collection starts in September. So the last time I did a haul, I would have showed you everything up until September. And then this is September through December. Um, I think I'm still waiting on my January. Yeah. So I'm still waiting on the January. So let me go ahead and take the cello tape off each of these. I feel, sometimes I feel like I should take the cello tape off before I film the haul because like I should just be ready to go but then like I see so many other people open their kits um like on camera like this so I don't know if you have a preference about that definitely let me know below if you're not phased though then that is also cool Okay, so first things first, we have the uh, September 2021 Mystery Kit. This is a very cozy, stay-at-home, very chill, rest, relaxation vibes. Well, at least that's what I get from it anyway. And the colour palette is very neutral. So this will be a great kit for, like, any time planning, um, just for, you know, one of those weekends at home, if you take like a vacay or a staycay, stay at home vacation, um, this would work perfectly for that. So these, of course, are your full boxes. And then we go ahead and jump into the kit format. So we get the long box there, which I always use in my sidebar. You've got some functional boxes and some checklists. Your work labels, deco, weekend banner, and some more checklists, or not checklists, weekly lists. You've then got your glitter headers, movie marquees, little things headers. Some more functional boxes. I don't know how I feel about the rounded edges anymore. I much prefer a squared off box, but I'm so used to using this format of box with the SPC kits, but I would love to see them squared off in future. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do you enjoy the rounded boxes or do you prefer a squared off box? 
You then, of course, get your, I guess, what you call the plain functional box because you've got your thirds boxes, you've got your little things, and you've got your appointment appointment labels, fancy labels, sorry. And then you have the exact same page, but you get it with the patent, which is really, really handy. Then you've, of course, got your bottom washi, you've got your date headers, and then you've got your spare box there. So, of course, if you're wanting to use a quote and not wanting to put it over the top of your fashion girls or full boxes, you have the option of a blank box there, or you can cut it up and use it as washi, whatever you would like. And then, of course, we have another functional page here, and you've got the um, alternative full box options there. So you've got the option of sw swapping out the red-headed girl there for a blonde. You've got the dark skin toned girl there with the curly hair to the brunette with the tan skin. And then you have your back page. So you've got some more functional boxes, some more full boxes with the different skin tones. So you can swap them out if you wish. Um, and then of course your alternate bottom washi. So that is that. And then with the September mystery, we got a silver foil bundle. So for anyone who doesn't know, if you subscribe to the ultimate mystery with SPC, you do get the ultimate kit format, which is what I've just shown you, but you also get the wiggle included as well. And you always get enough to complete an entire spread. So these are your full box overlays and your glitter head is here and like I said they are in a silver I don't know if it picks up too well I am filming it is horribly overcast but it is meant to be overcast for like the next week and I was like I've had this stuff sitting here for so long and I want to use it so <laughs> today is the day <laughs> or if you're a Dexter fan and you've been re-watching Dexter of late or you're watching the new season of Dexter tonight's the night <laughs> um so you get that and then of course you get a secondary sheet so you've got some more glitter headers and some more full box overlay options you then get two sheets of bougie boxes. So again, silver foil. And then you get your uh, scripts and icons page. So again, I think these are just the best sellers. Um, and then you get your icons and they are in two different sizes. So you've got like the minis and then you've got a slightly larger icon as well. And then we have the bottom washi. So this one, you've got the whimsical bow and the twinkle. And then you've got your date dots, some extra twinkle pieces and some extra header overlays in case you wanted to swap those out. So as I said, that is the September mystery. Jumping into the October mystery. I always find it weird when I get kits like this because obviously for me, it is summer at the moment. Like I'm hauling these in summer. And these are like winter kits, so my winter has like long finished. <laughs> but anyway, it's always good because then I can put them away for winter next year. And for anyone who's watched my winter plan with me recently, you will know that I did not have enough winter kits for the year just gone. So hopefully I can start stocking up now and I'll be ready for winter this year. So this is going to go straight to that collection. Uh, but this is the October 2021 mystery. So these are your full boxes here. I am not across the artists and, and whatnot the way that some other planner girls are. I should probably get to know things, but it's probably because I'm one of those people that kind of jumps in and then jumps out and then jumps in and jumps out. I'm trying to be consistent. Maybe we'll get there one day. But um, this art walk, art walk, artwork is quite beautiful. It's a, definitely a different format for SPC because for SPC is usually that more cartoony type vibe, whereas this is a lot more realistic. Like if you look at these fashion girls, like from a distance you could almost think it's a photo. Um, but anyway, so these are your full boxes. I believe it's probably going to be the same format, so we will go ahead and flick through. But again, this is a very um, like vacation, winter holiday, cozy day in, cozy night in, cozy weekend in. Uh, type kit and this cute little coffee cup over here and you've got some cards and some books and a face mask so again it, you could even use it to mark like a I don't know a pamper weekend or a you know girls weekend away because obviously these are all the girls but I feel like this kit could be used for many different ways for many different ways in many different ways but again full boxes then you have, of course, the extended full box, which is great because whenever I plan, if I have one of these, I definitely use one of those because then I don't have to try and bring in like boxes into the sidebar and put in things that I might not necessarily otherwise mark. Um, and that that sunset is absolutely beautiful. Um, 
So yeah, let's just go ahead and flick through because like I said, it's, it's the same format. SPC tends to have the same format for a while and then she'll change and then every kit after that is the same format until they, they change again, which obviously, duh, but I think all of these will be the same format. So we'll just flick through those. And again, it's a very neutral colour palette. I've noticed that a lot of these kits here are very sort of neutral or like dull. Not dull because that's kind of a negative connotation, but they're like a, a muted colourway, which again is perfect for like an anytime kit. And these two have got to be... I Whenever I get my mystery kits, I put them away to be filmed. I don't ever actually look at them in full. So seeing this... I love the kit even more. The charcuterie board, the games. What have I played lately? We haven't played Monopoly in a while. I watched my friend play the Game of Life electronically recently, but love these two boxes. So I will probably trade those two boxes in somewhere. But I don't know. I guess we'll see when we get to winter of this year because this one will definitely be in my lineup. And then, of course, you've got the extra full boxes. So you've got the option of the different hair colors and skin tones. Although that's not to swap anything out, so that's just an extra. So plenty of boxes here. If you're a clever planner girl or you plan across two different kits, two different planners, sorry, you would definitely be able to make this work across two planners. So love that. And then, of course, we get the wiggle. So, again, winter kits. I mean, I tend to gravitate to silver foil anyway, so it makes sense. Um, but this bundle is, again, in a silver foil. And this one is very sort of snowy, snowflake vibe. So, again, you've got your full boxes, your header overlays. Again, then you've got your two sheets of your bougie boxes. Oop, I just threw one away, apparently. Then you have your scripts and icons, of course, and your bottom washi, extra pieces, and the date dots. I do like the date dots in the original format. I don't like the, is this Times New, Times New Roman? I do prefer the other ones, but it is what it is. Um, but this bottom washi is absolutely beautiful. Can't wait to use that. And that concludes the October mystery. So let me put that one to the side and let me have a quick cup of coffee I always make a coffee whenever I do a haul video and then I put it to the side because I get so excited showing you all of the fun things and then I forget to drink it so I have to remind myself to drink it all right so now we are on to the November mystery so this is the November 2021 mystery kit now Again, I do look at the full boxes. I don't pull the whole thing out. So there's a couple of thoughts for me on this one. So firstly, I love the colors. I love the plant vibes. The yellow, love that. The navy blue, I think everything in that regard works perfectly. I think the little house is cute. Again, it could be something that you can use to do like a gardening weekend or, again, you could use it for a little holiday because that could be like a cute little holiday house. It can be for a week where you just work around the house or in the garden or it can just simply be an anytime kit. The only grievance that I have with this kit, and I don't know if anyone else, it's not even a grievance. Like I will still use this kit. I still think it's absolutely gorgeous. The, I don't know what it is about the fashion girl, but she looks overly cartoony to me. And I know a lot of people do like this fashion girl and this like art set, but I don't know. She kind of looks like a doll as opposed to like, a fashion girl if that makes sense and there's nothing wrong with that but I don't know I don't know if I like the doll vibe but I don't know if you have the same thoughts or similar thoughts let me know in the comments below but like I said it's still an absolutely beautiful kit and I'm still going to use it but I'm just I'm not 100% sold on the fashion girl but anyway <laughs> let's go through the kit so again we have that full box there which is gorgeous same functionality so again we'll just flip through i do love these colors together something about that mustard against the like navy blue speaks to me i don't know when i'll use it like i have a lot of gold for 2022 which speaking of i will at some point do a planner lineup video i'm obviously very 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 behind i think i just published 
the second last week of August on my channel. So I'm working on catching up and I will get there one day eventually. This bottom washi is beautiful. I love that. Um, but yeah, I want to do a 2022 planner lineup. I want to do like a mini setup video, I guess, or like writing down my goals or something like that. But I don't know. And again, you've got the alternate full box options and then you've got some extra see so it's not really a problem like if I decide to use this kit and opt out of using the fashion girls I can always bring in like the double box or these two no that's is it I was gonna say that I think this is a double box but if not you could most definitely use those separately um but then we are back to the beginning so that is the uh, sorry the November mystery and then I can't actually tell. I'm sitting, like, when it's overcast in my room where I film, I can never actually tell the foils apart. I'm pretty certain that this is also silver. Yeah, it is. This is silver as well. So, again, we've got another silver foil overlay. So we've got these really beautiful botanical-type floral full box overlays and some confetti headers. And, of course, as you know from the previous, we have two of those sheets two of the bougie box sheets, your scripts and your icons, and then the very traditional SPC bow for the bottom washi and that floral print, which I think is absolutely beautiful. Would I pair it with this kit? I'm not sure. I may find better uses for it, but I, I don't know. I don't know. That kit is absolutely beautiful. I don't know if or when I would use it, a time may come because I do want to do a lot of gardening and some backyard work, but we will see. Maybe I'll use it for that. Maybe I'll make a point of using it for that. Um, but yes, that is the Wiggle and the December Mystery Kit. And then finally, in terms of what I have received, because we are only in January, the last one that I have here to show you is, of course, the December 2020 Mystery. And you've probably seen this one everywhere. So this is a very like relaxation, spa, beauty, self-care vibe kit. Colors are stunning. The lavender with the blue, love, love, love. Um, so yeah, you've got like your double box bathroom, you've got like your robe, you've got the girl with her champagne, you've got the face masks and makeup, you've got some bath bombs, bath salts. So again, very anytime kit or like me time or like a rested weekend. Again, a lot of these kits that I've shown you, I feel like they have that kind of vibe, which is really handy to have when you're a planner because sometimes you have a whole bunch of kits, but you don't necessarily have kits to use for particular occasions. And then you get caught going, hmm, what am I going to use for this week? So it's always nice to have some anytime kits in your stash. And then you've got the toolbox again. And we'll just flip on through. See, like, I definitely prefer these boxes to these boxes. I don't know why. Maybe just because they look neater on paper. I don't know. I don't know. They're also easier to use in the sidebar. And this tile pattern, stunning. I kind of really want to one day, maybe in my future house, maybe not in this house, I want to do this in, like, my laundry and bathroom, like some sort of, like, patterned tile I don't know that my husband will be keen on that but there you go here's a better way to look at it <laughs> this kind of tile <laughs> I could even meet him halfway and be like I'll do a gray tile I want to do black but I'll do gray and then again you have the options to swap out your girls with the different skin tone or the different hair color and then same again you have the one extra here and then you've got the champagne option you could also probably use this for like a bridal shower or like a hen's weekend or something like that as well. So again, very anytime. And then the foil that we got with this bundle was a lavender hollow, which is all of the rage at the moment. And it is absolutely beautiful. And I think it was a fantastic choice for this kit. Um, so again, the wiggle is in the same format. You've got your full boxes and headers times two. Your bougie boxes, I don't think that picks up on camera. I feel like my hollow never picks up on camera. You have your scripts and icons. Like you can see that hollow there, but I don't know if you can actually pick up that as a purple hollow on camera, but it is. And then you've got your bottom washi. I don't know how I feel about the stars. 
I feel like with this kit it should have been something less bold and maybe something like this this washi is fine but I feel like that's too bold I feel like maybe that it should have been a floral print or something I don't know but that is the December mystery and then jumping into an order that I did with SPC so a little while ago SPC did a like mystery kit pull um where you could buy I think the limit was like 10 you could buy a mystery kit so basically you paid the amount of the ultimate kit or the mini kit or whatever format you wanted and you would get a bunch of mystery kits posted to you um but obviously the fact that they were mystery you wouldn't actually know what you were getting until you opened them so i have actually opened mine um so i'm going to go ahead and jump through them again they are mystery kits so at some point or another I may have received these or they might have been mystery kits from before I was planning. But again, we'll go through them very quickly. So as you would have just seen, this was the first kit that I got in my mystery pool. So I've just hauled this for you guys. So you know that I already have this kit. So I now have two of this kit. So again, it is the same format as before. Nothing is different. It's that same color scheme, same formatting. The only difference is, is that with these ones, because they are just a mystery kit alone, you do not get the wiggle. But of course, I now have two of these kits. So I guess in this kind of instance, you have the option to put the kit away and save it so that you can use it paired with your leftovers and make a different type of spread. Like say, for example, I use this girl when I plan and I use, you know, these two boxes. When I plan again, I could maybe use... Let's see, what have we got? Where are my alternates? I could then bring in too many pages in these mystery kits. <laughs> there we go. I could bring in this girl and then I could use these two boxes or something like that. So it gives you a, a way of, I guess, using the kit Two different times and trying to style it differently or again if you've got two planners you now have two of the same kit so you can actually effectively use them the same week in both planners um okay so interesting i didn't really pay attention to that but this particular kit i actually got an extra wiggle which is great um so this kit this is the July 2021 mystery, and again, I do have this in my stash. I wasn't able to use it for 2021, um, but I'll definitely be using it for 2022. But again, of course, I now have two of them. So we'll just flip through. I do love the autumn colors for, like, the kits that came out in 2021 for autumn, the colorway. Oh, I could die. So I'm looking forward to using this kit. And again, you now have the option of extending it over two or three planners um, or hoarding the leftovers or hoarding the second kit as well and using them for 2022 or 2023 or however long you hold on to kits. If you are like me, I can be holding on to kits for four years. I've got some that I've used this, uh, this past year and I've hoarded them for the longest time. And then as I mentioned, this one I actually got a wiggle. So I don't know if this was accidental or not, but I love this because it now means that when I use the kit, I have the extra foil and then I have leftover foil. So in this particular wiggle, this was like the like bonfire orange. It is absolutely stunning. And again, it's the same format. So you've got your full boxes, your headers, your bougie boxes your scripts i don't know if the color oh yeah there you go the, uh, so you've got your scripts and icons and then of course your bottom washi overlays your date dots and your extra headers and decorative pieces and then you also had this particular extra so you've just got some extra functional boxes there so that's really really handy to have the secondary wiggle so that was the second kit i think i bought six so that's two and then i've got one two yeah so I got six of them 
So the next one that I got in my random pool was the March 2021 mystery. Again, to me, this screams autumn. I think it's the colorway. Like it could obviously be very much spring because it's like farmer's market, fresh produce, you know, conserves and jams and florals and bits and pieces. But obviously everyone uses their kits different ways and interprets the art different ways. But I do have this in my stash as well because I obviously received it as part of my mystery collection. So these are your full boxes. Absolutely adore this fashion girl. It's funny though because looking at these colours, they are not the colours that I would have chosen based on the full box clip art. They're very um, muted. But I guess that kind of works if you've got those really bold full boxes because then you're focused on the art. Like when I look at, like to me, that colour, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. But anyway, <laughs> that is that one there. So that is number three. The fourth kit that I got was the... February 2021 mystery and I do love this kit but again I do have it in my stash I'm yet to use it um not because I don't want to use it but because it's just one of those kits that like you have it for a particular occasion or you have it for a particular season and then something else comes up and you use another kit like a birthday comes up or something like that so I haven't used it as yet but I do adore this this is very again spring vibes to me um I don't know why but I feel a lot of the the um, kits that I've picked up of late are spring, which means I have these this whole range of spring kits and like not much else. <laughs> but I don't know. I think just the pastel colors, the, the pops of orange, the floral collection, the florals over here and here. I just, I don't know, screams spring to me. So I do have this kit, but again, when you have a kit that you like, it's not the worst thing having a second of it because I definitely know that there are kits that I've used in my planner that I have wished that I've purchased a second. So in this particular instance, it's a good thing. Um, so again, we've got the same format, so we're just going to flick on through. I don't know if I do decide to de stash or sell any of these. If there are any that you are interested in, let me know. Um, I, I don't know. I'm at, a, at this moment in time, I feel like I want to put them in my collection and see how I go, but you never know. We will see. And I do love like these patterns and these colors. Like I said, I, I adore the colors, but the patterns that were chosen to go along with this kit, perfection. Bottom washi, alternate options, more alternate options and functional boxes. And then we are back to the big, blah, 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 beginning. <laughs> really, really love that kit. So that was cool. And then the next one that I have is a May 2021 mystery. So again, I do have this kit. I haven't used it. You will probably actually see the kit in my summer lineup because I just love the colors, the oranges, the greens, the blues. I just, as soon as I saw this kit, I was like, cannot wait to use this. So yes, you'll definitely see this kit in 2022. <laughs> I think, provided something else doesn't come up, but it's definitely in my lineup as of right now. Um, so full boxes, just the, the colors. Oh, so beautiful. And it's a nice like change up from the neutrals that I showed you before. Like look at that page. Like that is everything that I'm about. Love it. So I got really lucky. I, I, I can't help but feel that that wiggle that I got was a mistake. <laughs> but I'll take it. <laughs> and I love this pool, this bottom washi pattern. Very pretty. So that was the fifth kit. And then the only kit that I got that I do not own. I don't believe I own this. I own variations of this clip art. I think I own maybe two kits that have this same clip art but done very, very differently. So, again, it is not the worst because the type of kit that it is is very handy to have. So I got Party Time or Sparkle, sorry, Party Time, Sparkle Party. So this doesn't look like it was a mystery kit subscription to me. This might have been like a mystery kit bundle or like a Cyber Monday or something like that. 
Um, I don't know because I don't remember ever receiving this and if I have, I don't know what I did with it because it's not in my stash anywhere. But this is very me. This is very pink and then there's rose golds and silvers and, like, again, it's one of those kits that you could use for New Year because obviously you've got the champagne, you've got some sparkles, you've got the dress there, party time. Or you could use it for, again, a bridal shower, a hen's weekend, a generic birthday party. So it's always handy to have like a birthday or party themed kits. So we're super, super happy to receive this one. So those are the full boxes there. You've then obviously got your add-on full boxes. And again, format is the same. So we'll just flick on through. I think, yeah, so I think this kit, I, I think this artwork I actually used in my 2021 plan out New Year. It was like my New Year spread. I think it was a Paper Muse Craft. No, Paper Muse Craft? No, um, Peach Pom. Peach Pom artwork. or well, not artwork, but I used the Peach Pom version of the kit for New Year's 2021. And then I've also got a pink themed, much more pink than this one from Stella Bo Sticker Co. And then I think I have one from... It might be Planet Beautiful. I don't know, but I feel like I definitely have a secondary option in my stash already. So I'm not going to complain because I will definitely use this kit at some point. Your bottom washi is very fun. And then we're back to the start. And then I did also get this little extra hollow TV icon chucked into the back of my order there. So not going to hurt at all. I don't have a lot of foil um, hollow foil icons and I watch a lot of TV particularly on the weekends so that is fantastic so all in all <laughs> this is my ginormous SPC haul that I now have to put away quite possibly my least favorite thing to do um, so yes that was my SPC haul now let's go ahead and jump in to the next order. Oh, so let me just make sure I've got all of my bits and bobs here. Take everything out of the cello. Now this is not a huge order, but this store is run by my beautiful friend, Maya. She hand draws all of the items that you are about to see. So if you are looking for customs or you are looking for something in particular that you want designed or hand drawn for you, definitely check Maya out. She's incredibly talented and she has just released sticker albums, which is great. Um, so this order is from Sticker Thief. So first and foremost, I got a little handwritten note, which I always appreciate. And then we'll jump straight into my order. So in this particular order, there I don't think there is any order to the way that they are, so I'm just going to flick through them sheet by sheet. So the first sheet that I've got here is the Standing Sandy Pug. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I mean, I haven't published the plan with me yet because I'm not up to it, but um, my family dog um, of 10 years did pass away back in November, um, and she was a Sandy or Fawn Pug. Um, and I do have some of these somewhere, but I cannot for the life of me find them. So I decided to just order some more. Um, so those are really cute. And you've obviously got the larger format and the smaller format, but I wanted something like this to mark her when she passed away. Um, so I thought that this was the best way to go about it. So those are the Sandy Pugs. Oh my bad. This is how long it's been since I've ordered from Maya. Um, you do always get a freebie from Maya as well. So depending on the month that you order, you always get like a little sheet like this that is decorative with some functional items um, and it is relevant to the month you purchase in. So I ordered in November. Obviously Christmas was coming up. So this is the November freebie. So you've got like a little Monstera there acting as a Christmas tree with some baubles on it and some gifts beneath. You've got a candy cane themed functional box, some strawberries and champagne, which would be perfect for New Year's. And then you've got the little bunny there with the Santa hat and the Christmas decorative mug, which I love. That's one of my favorite bunnies. So that was the freebie. And then back to the order. So I've picked up some of the washing hair girls. Now, again, you guys know if you've been around my channel for a while, I use these quite a lot. These are a different size to what I usually use. The original sheet that I had 
I think there was three different sizes, but that's fine because I didn't really like the mini ones. But then I wonder if these might be too big. Like I kind of would want this size only, but we'll make them work. Um, so I got the Washing Hair Girl. I then also picked up the mixed frappe sheets. I don't know about you guys, but when summer comes along and I still want a cup of coffee, I generally gravitate towards an iced coffee or a frappe, particularly from McDonald's. So I thought that this would be a cute sheet to mark those particular days in. And I've had quite a lot of coffee frappes in the last couple of weeks. So figured that this would be really, really appropriate. So as you can see, you've just got a variation here. You've got like the plain one so you've got like a light brown a pink you've then got a darker brown you've got like a I don't know it looks like it's it could be chocolate I guess because it looks like it's got the chocolate syrup running down the side and again you've got the larger size and the smaller size and then also picked up the cake icons I mean again who doesn't love cake and who doesn't need a cute way to mark birthdays or celebrations in their planner I apologize for the cockatoos. They are so incredibly loud and they're flying around outside of my window. Anyway, um, so you've got the larger format again and the smaller format and you've got what looks like a strawberry, maybe a vanilla and a chocolate cake, which are really, really cute. And then also purchase the chai latte. Now, if you know me, like Maya does, you all know that I don't like chai. I don't like chai lattes. I don't like chai. I don't really like cinnamon. The only way I'll have cinnamon is on a custard tart. But when I saw these, I just thought that, like, take this away, it could also be a coffee cup. So that was my intention. I figured that if I bought them, I could use them as coffee cups or a way to alternatively mark, like, coffee Monday or drinking coffee on the weekends or having a lazy morning or going on a coffee date or to breakfast or whatever. <laughs> um, but I thought that they were really cute, so I picked those up as well. And then I also picked up the standing black pug. Now, this goes back a little bit further. I think this dates back to maybe 2018. Yes, 2018, we lost our black pug, our family pug. So when I'm saying family, it's the dogs that don't live with me. I've got two dogs of my own, but then we did have – We've had multiple dogs in our family um, that live at my dad's house with my dad and my brothers. Um, so for a period of time, we had the two pugs. We had the black pug, the sandy pug. Then we got a third. We got an Aussie bulldog. And then when the black pug passed away, my brother got a British bulldog. So long way of basically saying that we also had a black pug and he passed away back in 2018, I believe. Um and I don't think I've marked that in my planner. I left a spot to mark it, but again, I knew that I had some of these stickers somewhere but still cannot find them, so I just figured I would buy some more so that when I go back to fill in those random gaps, um, I have the stickers to do so. And then I also have the Black Pug sitting and the Sandy Pug sitting, which you can see I've already used it because I did use it for the plan with me for when she passed away. So that is my order from Sticker Thief. So not a huge one, but an order nonetheless. And Maya is an Aussie store. So again, if you haven't checked her out, definitely consider doing so. Um, okay, so let's do another. Now the neighbor's children are running around making lots of noise. Um, okay, so the next order, if I can open these bags, that I'm going to show you is from Marshmallow Studio. I don't know why, but I ordered some pens, which I'll show you in just a second, but I ordered two of them and they put them in two separate bags, which to me kind of seems a little bit wasteful, but I don't know. They look cool. The bag's cool. It is what it is. Um, so let me grab those out and then there's like a little thing in there. Okay, so let's put those away. And then let me actually open the order. Again, wasn't a huge order, but it had been a little while since I'd ordered from them, so I wanted to place an order. So, as I said, order is from Marshmallow Studio. Let me just flick through and find, because I know that Shannon Kev also put a bunch of, like, random freebies inside the order. 
So let's do that first. Okay, so first and foremost, as always, you get a cute little like thank you. So this is like my Happy Mail thank you business card. It's got all their socials on the bottom there. And then you always get like a little handwritten thank you. They then also provided some little die cut stickers as usual. So you've got the little Debbie Downer pen and like a little planner pencil case set up there, which is really cute. Then you get your regular sampler. So you just generally have a variation of different functional type items and characters. So you've got Sheila Sugar. Why do I always do that? Debbie Downer. You've got a little guacamole there. A little cat eating some cake. So very, very cute. And then... Oh, no, that's not a freebie. I actually bought that, just that it looks like a freebie. Um, and then you also get a journaling card. So this journaling card is, of course, Christmas-themed. Very, very cute. And then it's just plain on the back. So you can use that as a dashboard or you can use it however you wish. And then, like I said, I did purchase two pens. If you haven't already purchased one of these pens from Marshmallow Studio, if they have them online definitely grab yourself one. Alternatively, they do release these these pens every so often, but they look like this. So they're just a, a standard ballpoint pen and they come with all different barrels. So like, for example, these are the two that I just bought, but I also have this one sitting in my pen cup. I think I have three of this one. This one has like a rainbow um rainbow foil apologies for the children again i can't really do anything about them i just have to keep keep it on um, so i've got those and then i think i have a pink one somewhere i've got a white one somewhere i've got a silver one somewhere they're fighting um so i picked up two of these pens because i usually try and get multiples i'll get like at least two because i either keep both for myself or like i'll gift one and keep one um but of course i need to add to my collection i i just want a whole cup full of marshmallow studio pens so that is the goal i'm getting there i mean technically the cup's full with all of the duplicate pens that i have but i saw this one i missed out they did have a hot pink one and i was devastated that i missed it but didn't miss this one. So this one is a blue, so it's like a metallic blue. It's got the little cocoa sticker there. So usually it will have some sort of art of theirs or it will have their branding on it. And then this one is a silver glitter. I don't know that I can really show it on camera because of the angle, but as you can see there, the glitter sort of floats up and down. So I thought those were really pretty. So I picked those up pop them straight into my pen cup and then you do get in each of those bags you got like a little cardboard piece so you could test out the pen but I don't need to do that I've purchased way too many of them and I use them all the time so I'm fine with that and then let's jump into the order so the first thing that I picked up was the mini Christmas sampler so again I think I did this order in November and I knew Christmas was coming up and I just wanted to have a bunch of Christmas items on hand I don't really have many holiday icons or anything like that so I thought it would be handy to have those so this was the Christmas sampler and again as you can see it's just a bunch of cutesy Christmas art which is really handy to have the second sheet that I picked up without even knowing it was happening I picked up the marshmallow studio um like Harry Potter sampler I guess because like everything Harry Potter you've got the sorting hat you've got the broomsticks you've got the tie in each of the house colors you've got Hagrid Draco Hermione Harry Snape no Ron rough um you've got Dobby you've got the is it snitch the golden snitch you've got I forget what the cat's name is you've got why am I blanking Hedwig can't remember the cat something shank crookshanks i don't know i don't remember but as it turns out we just had the 20th anniversary re return to hogwarts so i at least now have some stickers to mark that in which is really cool and then i will just flip through the other sheets that i purchased so i picked up this 
Debbie Downer gardening sticker. So you've just got her in a variety of different, like, I guess, gardening poses. So you've got some seeds. She's like trimming or pruning the hedges, watering the plants, and then it just repeats. I got Sheila Sugar and Debbie Downer in their like Christmas attire. Again, trying to build up my Christmas collection because I don't have a lot of it. I got some boxes, again, for anyone who may be new here um, or isn't aware, I do run my own business called Heavenly Bath Treats, which I do link in the description below, but I'm constantly going to the post or packing orders or that sort of thing, and I didn't really have anything to market, so I figured that these could come in handy for when I'm packing and dispatching orders. And then picked up these, like, I guess, his um, birthday cake icons and again this is just more about the fact that I have a lot of like pink happy birthday or birthday party themed kits um but not a lot of like blues or greens or anything that's not necessarily I guess feminine so I thought that these would be a cute way of marking um you know male birthdays or you know just another way of marking birthdays in kits that might not necessarily be pink um so I thought these were really cute to have I then picked up this Debbie Downer sheet. I can't remember what it is. It was like, I don't know, but she looks defeated to me. And I'm kind of hoping I don't have to use a lot of these in 2022, but I know that in 2021, this was generally my mood. Like 2021, I, I was done. Like I couldn't deal with it. So I bought those. Hopefully I don't use them a lot. Hopefully you won't see them in my spreads in 2022 a lot, but they're there just in case. I mean, everyone has a bad day every so often. So got them for that as well. I then also got the Debbie Downer like work I guess you would call this um, where she's just sitting there on her computer she's got a little cup of coffee there and again I'm still working from home at the moment I run the online business so these can come in quite handy for a few things I also picked up the Debbie Downer like rain sticker so she's just chilling there in her like winter get out with an umbrella over her head and the rain for anyone who doesn't know, Debbie Downer is my favorite Marshmallow Studio character. Don't know why, she just is. I also then picked up this super cute sheet. So she's just chilling in her pajamas with her coffee or her tea in hand. And I just thought that this would be a super cute way to relax, to relax, <laughs> to mark relaxing or chilling out or, you know, having a lazy day or morning. Really, really cute. And then I also picked up the Debbie Downer jabs because, of course, these stupid vaccinations that we have to get, these booster shots that we have to get. Um, I didn't have anything to market. As you can see, I've already used one um, for one of the plan with me's that I did. Um, so I picked that up just as a way of having something cute to mark, something that would or does traumatize me. <laughs> Trauma, make it cute, right? Anyway, moving on. <laughs> that was my order from Marshmallow Studio. So there's a few little items there which I can put away in my character binder and start using, which is great. Another sip of coffee. Okay, so this is, okay, I'm going to, oh, no, it still works. Okay. So the next order that I have here is from Planaface. So let me take everything out of this packaging. Now I think if memory serves me correctly, this order I did back in the planner boss sale, which was I don't even know when. Let me check my invoice actually, because that will tell me. So I did this order in September. So planner boss collective sale, I think it's called. It was the full sale that I ordered all of this. So let me work out any freebies because there was a bit because I spent a little bit um, with this order. Okay, so during this sale, Anna does tend to have tiered freebies for a lot of her sales. I think she does. So in terms of freebies, let's start there. So the first little freebie that I got was, of course, this gorgeous journaling card. She's my absolute favorite. The red hair against the, like, full backdrop, absolutely stunning. But then, of course, you do have the alternate scene on the back. So you can use that however you would like. But I think she's absolutely stunning. 
So we, of course, have that. I then also got the September order freebie. So these are like her pink doodles. And this is very like witchy Halloween themed. You've got like a skull. You've got a cauldron and some crystals. Ouija board. Ouija burp. Weed, Ouija. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> this is the September freebie. So that is super cute. And then I also got this freebie from Sugary Gal Shop. So this is a Jack Skellington sticker, but he's actually like a huge big sticker. So he would be cool if you're into Jack Skellington or you just want to decorate like a, fe a festive Halloween spread or something like that or your planner. I have gotten that. And then I also got a freebie from Lily's Little Cupboard. So you've got a quote box there that, that, that says, what a time to be alive. You've got some functional boxes, washi strips, some scripts, and some functional icons as well, which is super handy. And then we jump into Anna's freebie. So let me show you those because I did spend quite a bit on this order. So first and foremost, I don't remember what order it went in. Okay, so there we go. I'm assuming I don't know. I just know that there was three tiers. There was like a 25, a 50, and maybe a 75. Maybe there was also a 100, but I from what I can see, I can only see the like only the 25 and 50 are labeled. So the $25 freebie was this and I totally forgot. I'm now that I'm looking at it, I remember that I actually wanted to use this for 2021, but I've already picked out all of my Christmas kits and I've already laid two down and I've got two to come. So probably not going to be able to use this year, this year just passed, but may be able to use it for Christmas coming because it is a really cute kit. I, I love it so much. So like I said, this is the $25 freebie. You've got some full boxes here half boxes you've got some appointment labels you've got some quarter boxes and like little things yeah they're like a little things uh, size equivalent and then some washi and then to add to that I got the $50 freebie so the $50 freebie came with six extra full boxes some trackers and some like functional type boxes so when I saw this I was like Hmm. So I've now got six, ten full boxes. So I've got a kit there essentially. So I just need the functional. Like I've got quite a few boxes there. I've got a couple extra bits and pieces here. So I was like, hmm, $25, $50 freebie. We can almost make a kit. But then because I continued to spend, <laughs> I somehow came across the rest of the kit as well. So I've actually got the equivalent of an entire kit to use. So I got the full boxes for the girl, so I don't think, maybe she was. Oh, yeah, so there is the full box on the kit that I just showed you, but then you've obviously got the alternate options, which is fun. You then also got this, so this is like another sampler, sampler sheet. So, again, two extra full boxes. So, depending on how you want to use it, you've got so many full boxes, and, again, 10, that's now 12. So, that's two spreads worth. Very cute. And then this box as well. So you've got some more boxes, date headers. You've got some glitter headers. You'd probably need to bring in more unless you were just going to lay them across the top. So I haven't figured that, that part out yet, but I know that I definitely want to use this kit at some point. I'm kind of annoyed because I really, like when I saw these boxes, I was like, yes, let me use that in like end of November or like first week of December because it's Christmas vibes but not Christmas vibes. Anyway, it's fine because I ended up using kits that I'd hoarded for quite a while. So now this can just go in my stash until Christmas this year, which if it's anything like 2021, will be here in the blink of an eye. But I got that one as well. And then I also got this page. So again, more functional boxes, labels, bill stickers, weekend banner. You did only get one strip of washi, but what I figured for this was to make it work, you could bring in like a washi of your choice or if you've got a spare 15 millimeter because it's actually two pieces 
So if you pair it with something, you can make that work on both sides of your spread. So I have a whole free kit there just for nothing, essentially. Um, and then she also chucked these in, which were super cute. But again, when it comes to stickers and planner stuff and Christmas stuff, I'm a bit of a collector and I have quite a few labels and so much wrapping paper already. So these are going to go in my little Christmas wrapping station, um, but I probably won't use them until I've used the huge collection that I already have. But these are so incredibly cute. And, I mean, you don't even have to use them for Christmas. You can just use them as birthday labels. So I thought they were really cute. So they were just freebies. All of that that I just showed you, didn't pay for it free 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 and now we will move on to my order so I'm gonna go through scripts first because I got quite a few scripts so I love this handwriting I remember when I first started planning I purchased all of my scripts on like white backing and then I hated them and I swapped them because I wanted the clear backing but now I'm obsessed with the white backing again and I really really love this font so I wanted to pick up some more of these well, not more of these, but I wanted to pick up some more scripts in Anna's writing style. Um, so I got some work labels or scripts. I got some more of the months because I'm not sure how I'm going to mark months in my 2022 planner. So I got two of those. Yep, two of those. And then um, I never, I can't even speak. I then purchased the Take Photos um, sheet. Again, I figured that this would be handy for my business when I have to do new listings and things like that. So I got one of those. I did a restock on my work from home scripts because I use them all the time and I love them. So I got two of those, I think, maybe three. Yep, so I got <laughs> oh, three, four. Oh, okay, so apparently I got five of those. Never mind. Really stocked up on those. I then purchased the upload script and I also like that there's alternating. So you've got like the lowercase and then the uppercase as well. So you can interchange them. I got the payday, the day off, because I feel like every time I go to mark a day off, I don't have anything. So at least now I have one sort of script for that. And then I picked up some more of the edit as well. I figured that with YouTube and being so behind and needing to catch up and then obviously YouTubing in 2022, I figured that the edit and upload would come in handy, even though I've already got a bunch of them. So those are the scripts that I picked up from Anna. I then picked up some doodle sheets, which again, I apparently totally forgot that I had. So we'll go in my collection until next year. But um, I picked up the Christmas doodles. So this is just a various size, various color sampler because I got two varieties. Oh, did I get two varieties? I thought, no, I didn't. I thought that I picked up the pink and the traditional. So this is in the traditional colorway. So you can see here you've got a little wreath, a Christmas tree. You've got the car with the Christmas tree and then it just repeats. So you've got a large, a medium and a small size. Um, and like I said, this is the traditional colorway. There was the option to get this in a pink colorway as well, but I opted for traditional. And then I also picked up the secondary one. So with this one, you've got the little snowman. Again, you've got your tree, you've got a gift, you've got a gingerbread man. You've got like wrapping supplies, a parcel, a wreath, Christmas hat, a Christmas pudding, and a Christmas mug. And then again, the same thing, repeats in the medium and repeats in the small, and again, in that traditional colorway. And then I also picked up the coffee and croissant doodle. This is in the pink colorway. Um, and again, I love croissants. I love coffee. Really cute way to mark like a breakfast date or a, you know, lazy morning in or breakfast at home. Or I just figured that I needed to broaden my horizons. You guys see me use a lot of the same coffee cups. And whilst I love that because I'm using my stickers, I figured that I needed a little bit more variety. So picked those up. And again, it's the same thing. You've got a large, a medium, and a small. And the last doodle sheet that I picked up was the like sticker kits. So when I picked these up, I figured that they would be a cute way to mark pulling stickers or organizing stickers. Um, I do have one sheet at the moment from Stella Boy Sticker Co. that I generally use to mark pulling stickers, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to have another. So those are the doodles that I picked up. And then I think I, I think this is just the one. Oh, no, I picked up a couple of extra things. Okay, so actually let me do those first because I've got a kit here. 
um, but I picked up some extras. So a long time ago, well, not a long time ago, earlier on last year, I picked, um, I did an order and I didn't add the glitter add on. So when you purchase from Anna, you purchase your kit and then you can pick add ons. So I always get the glitter add on because it then gives me the glitter headers. It gives me some extra functional boxes as well. But two of the kits that I picked up, I didn't actually pick up the glitter headers for. So I picked them up with this order knowing that I needed them. So the first add-on that I got was for her office goals kit, which is very vibrant, very bright. So I now have that to add to the kit, which is great. It means that I don't have to search through my stash or try and make glitter headers appear from nowhere. So I picked that one up. And then I'd also purchased the macchiato kit from her and I didn't have the add-ons for that. So I just picked that one up as well. And as you can see, this is a very neutral, um, very sort of nude colored kit, which I will more than likely use at some point this year. So good that I have those now. And then I also topped up my um, sprinkled glitter flag. So for anyone who does watch my plan with me, so you guys will know that I love these and I use these with every spread, or at least I did in 2021. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, I'm not sure how I'm planning on marking the months in my new planner, but I figured it wouldn't hurt to have these on hand just in case because it's a very convenient way to mark the months. But essentially what I do is I'll put one of these down to match the color scheme with the kit and then I will get the relevant month pop it on top of the flag in the pop, uh, top left-hand corner. And that is how I've been marking the months of the year. So may do that into 2022. Do not know, but I tended to gravitate more towards this like rainbow um, color palette. I do have a pastel one as well, but I found that I was reaching for this one a lot more. So that's the one that I stopped up on. And then, as I mentioned, I also purchased a kit so the kit that I picked up was the Love Story kit and it is absolutely stunning. I There's a plan with me that I'm about to film for my 2021 planner, which kind of bothers me a little bit because this is so beautiful and I'm so excited to use it. But then it's kind of like, well, it's going in my 2021 planner. So once I've laid it down, it's going on a shelf essentially. So that part of it makes me sad, but I mean, we all want our planners to look beautiful and when we do look back on the memories, we want everything to be beautiful. So, I mean, either way, it's going to get used and if I don't and I use it in 2022, it's going to sit in my planner until the end of 2022. I can't even say that. 2022, 2022. Say that 10 times fast. Um, and then it's going to go on a shelf anyway. So I guess it is what it is. I have some cute foil to pair with this. Um but when I looked at it, I sort of thought that it was the perfect like winter transition to spring because you've got the winter vibes, you've got like the autumn vibe of the deer, you've got these spring florals, but the colorway is very winter and then you've still got like a tea cozy and you've got, you know, the tea and I don't know. I just, I thought it was a perfect transition kit. Who knows? Maybe I can go back and buy another variation of it or I can buy it in someone else's clip art. If anyone knows any stores that has this clip art, please let me know because then I can check it out and then I get to use it this year as well. Um, but yes, this is Love Story. These are your full boxes. <laughs> Here are your date covers. You've got some functional uh, boxes. You've got some deco, your weekend banner, weekly trackers. You have your functional boxes, checklists, some page flags, some bill juice stickers your little headers and little things as well as some functional boxes on the bottom there and some of your glitter headers, checklists and doodles and page flags, your bottom washi. You've also got, I don't know if it's just mine or if it is made to look like that, but that full box there to me looks faded. Like I don't know if it's just because it's been sitting in the sun for too long or like where it was sitting in Anna's storage, it was too long. But I feel like Anna cut. Um, I feel like Anna cuts as she, like as the orders come through. So I don't know. But to me, that like if you compare it to the full boxes, like I feel like that looks really dull. Like, see how it's like faded in the top right. I don't know. I mean, I have enough full boxes for the kit anyway, but um, yeah, though, so that's your washi sheet. 
And then, of course, I got the glitter add-on. So, again, you've got your glitter headers, your functional boxes, and your extra boxes as well. And then, like I said, I'm not too worried about that box. I mean, it is very cute, and I would love to use it. But I do have some extra uh, boxes here. So, you've got the um, alternate skin tone options for the Fashion Girl. And then you've also got the extended Fashion Girl as well. So I'll probably use her in my sidebar, which means I'll have enough for my spread anyway. So that's perfectly fine. Um, but that is the Love Story kit. I thought it was beautiful. Um, and that is my order from Planiface. And now last but not least, we are jumping into our final three orders. And our final three orders are actually my Black Friday orders. So considering I just did a planner face order, I'm going to go ahead and do my next planner face order because I did order from Anna for Black Friday as well. So let me grab out those bits and bobs and put that there. All right, so let me desell her. All right, so... Black Friday order. So again, I've just gone through my freebies. Oh my gosh, I have so many freebies. So first and foremost, again, I spent quite a little bit on this particular order. So I did actually get all of the tiered freebies for Black Friday, Cyber Monday 2021. So the first thing that I purchased, not purchased, sorry, the first freebie is the journaling card. I don't know why, but that character reminds me of Demi Lovato for some reason. Um, so that's your journaling card. And then, as always, you've got the secondary scene on the back. So that was freebie one. Freebie number two, you get your squared off boxes to go with the, like, clip art for the tiered freebies. Very fun. And then we'll jump into the freebies. So, again, we've gotten this cute little sampler here. So you've got a quote box extra full box and some functional items and this beautiful pink and purple clip art. And then we go into the tiered freebies. So the first freebie was the $25 freebie. So again, you've got four full boxes there and a bunch of functional boxes. So already I have what, four, five, six boxes. So I'm already almost at a full spread. So that's the 25 freebie. The $50 freebie then gives you more boxes. So I've got another six boxes there. So what's that? Six, 10, 12 boxes and some more functional type items. And this clip art is so cute. I cannot wait to use this for my Valentine spread. So in February, I do four weeks of like Valentine's or like lovey-dovey spreads. This is going to be perfect. And then you, so yeah, that was the $50 freebie. And then I think there's a 75 and I think there's a 100, but again, they're not actually marked on here. Oh yes, there is. So maybe there's not a 75. Oh yep. Yeah, okay. I lied. So I then got the $75 freebie, which is great. So these are my glitter add-ons. So I now have headers and a bunch of functional boxes. And then there was the $100 freebie. So again, you essentially get the equivalent of like a full spread here because again, you've got eight full boxes. So I now have so many full boxes, which means again, if I'm a planner who has two different planners, I've got two spreads worth or I can pick and choose what I want and then use the leftovers the following year or for a separate occasion, which is really, really fun. But these full boxes, the color of this art, Part of me purchased from Anna to get this clip art, <laughs> not going to lie, but I didn't anticipate that I would get every single freebie. I anticipated that I might get enough that I could, like I'd have enough full boxes, um, but I purely planned on bringing in like functional boxes from my stash. Um, but I already have the equivalent of a full spread for myself. And then I got all of the extra freebies as well. I don't know how much I spent. I don't really want to know. I don't even want to look at my invoice, but let's go through the rest of the freebies because I got them all apparently. So I then also got my date headers, some extra glitter headers, some decorative pieces, some doodles and some functional boxes. So I definitely have enough for a full spread now. The washi strips, more functional options. That's weird. I think she gave me two accidentally. 
because I've got more date headers now. Did I already have date headers? Didn't I just show you date headers? I did. One's more muted than the other. Okay, I don't know. So two lots of date headers there. Some more functional boxes. Your littles. Your checklists, doodles and page flags. And then of course your actual bottom washi and your washi page and an extra full box there. So I have more than enough to make an entire spread there. But then I also have the alternate fashion girl options as well. So for both of the fashion girls in the kit, I have an option to change out the hair colors, the skin tones, depending on how I feel or depending on what I want to use with the spread. So they were all freebies from my purchases. And I now have, essentially I can do a spread this year and next year <laughs> with all of that. So that's pretty fun. Pretty cool. Thank you for that, Anna. The next thing that I purchased was accidental. I don't know. It's not accidental. I just obviously left something out. So <laughs> I went and purchased the Christmas morning glitter add-on thinking that I had the Christmas morning kit in my cart, but apparently I didn't. And I did check my invoice and I didn't add it. So, I mean, I want to do another water fat from Anna anyway. So I'll just add that to my next order provided the art is still in store. Worst case scenario, I have a bunch of functional items I can add to my stash for future use. So glitter headers. <laughs> Um, I then purchased one of the reusable albums. Um, now I do already have one of these that has all of my foil in it. Let me just zoom out a little bit. Um, so I have one of these already that does store very messily my foil collection or my script collection rather. So this is the one that I have at the moment and I have the tabs from Anna on the side here. And I have all of my scripts sorted by foil color. Um, and this one I got with the intention of using it to put all of my like leftover boxes from kits. So it's just on a white binder. It's hard. It's laminated. I think Anna is my favorite person to purchase reusable albums and sticker albums from just because of the lamination. You don't have to worry about it getting ruined or destroyed. And then inside, it's literally just your silicon paper. So your sticker paper, double-sided to store all of your stickers. So I'm thinking that I'm going to get, so this one's going to be for my like full boxes and stuff left over, icons and particular colorways so that if I ever need something for a spread, I can go straight to this album and bring it in. But I do think that I want to purchase a few more where I can put my foiled icons. I don't know whether I'm then going to pair my foils with my icons. I don't know what I'm going to do, but I definitely want to get a few more of these. My character collection is still in a like A4 binder with the four pockets, um, which is still working for me at the moment. I don't know whether I want to transfer them into something like this because I don't know that they'll fit for one, but not sure. Not sure yet. But these are really, really handy to have in your collection. So if you don't have one already, definitely get yourself one. I also have one of these separate to the two. So this one and the one that I just showed you um, that I pull my weekly spreads in. So I pull my stickers ahead of time before I do my plan with me videos and I store them in one of these. So they're really, really handy to have. The next item that I purchased off Anna was the super fun, super cute planning notes pad. This should already be filled in because it is currently Wednesday when I'm filming and I haven't put in any plans for the week and then I'm going to get to the end of this week and go, oh my god, what did I do? Um, but last year I was using a pad from Erin Condren and this year when I saw this and because I love Anna's store, I was like, well, this is what I'm going to get to track my 2022 year. Um, and I thought it was really fun because you can put the date and then you can also put the kit and foil. So if you're planning ahead of time or you're trying to plan out your kits, you can actually write it there. I know that that's been super helpful for me because then when I go to pull my stickers for the week, I just go, oh, it's that kit. And then you pull things out. And then if you're someone who tracks things and you like to put your trackers in your memory spread or in your planner spread, 
you've got the ability to track them here. You've got, you know, you can put your highlights or whatever it is that you use there, and then you can transfer all of this into your memory spread at the end of the week. So I thought that this was really handy, and I think there's the equivalent of a year here. I mean, we'll see as we use it. Worst case, I'm going to have to double back on some pages, but it's really, really cute. It's pastel pink and blue and purple, and then obviously the page can just tear off as you use it. But I definitely, definitely wanted to purchase this. So that is that. And now I'm going to jump into my scripts and then we'll go into the kits. So the scripts that I purchased in this particular order, I got the optician's appointment. There is way too many of them. I generally only go to the optometrist once a year. I am overdue at the moment, but that's pretty much why I got them. Um, but at least they will last me quite some time. So I picked those up. Same thing, the dentist, I generally go to twice a year for a checkup. Obviously more if something needs repairing or fixing or whatever but I figured it would be handy to have those. And again, I just love Anna's scripts. So the more that I can stock up on the different scripts that she has, the less I have to write in my planner, the nicer my planner will look. <laughs> it will also be cohesive if I have scripts in the same font. So we've got dentist. Again, same thing, doctors. I rarely ever go to the doctor. I will literally only take my butt to the doctor if I'm dying or feel like I'm dying. Uh, but again, figured that it wouldn't hurt to have those in my collection as well. I also picked up the post office um, script. Now, again, running a business, I am back and forth to the post office sometimes every second day. So I figured that this would be a fun way to mark the post office instead of having to write it in. And, yeah, two different styles. You've got, like, one that will fit in a quarter box and then one that will fit nicely in a double box. Very practical. I picked up the food shop. I do have a bunch of grocery shop stickers in, like, the different foils but I figured oh, I figured it wouldn't be the worst to have it in a black and white script and in something other than grocery shop so this one says food shop and again you have it in the two different styles which is very handy I of course picked up the washing hair script again you guys know generally it's more if I don't have enough to mark in my week but I will usually mark washing my hair on Wednesdays and Sundays because that is my routine so I figured that they would come in handy. And again, I've purchased even more work from home trips. So I think I picked up, how many did I pick up on this order? Two. So I picked up two work from home trips on this order. And then the last script that I picked up this time around was the family time. And again, I figured that for Christmas and birthdays and things like that, it would be cute to have something like this to mark family time. So those were my scripts and now onto the kits. So I bought quite a few kits this time around. So the first kit that I picked up this time around was the Venus kit. Now, I cannot tell you how many times I have gone to Anna's store, done an order, eyed of this kit, not purchased it, and then regretted it. So this time I finally picked it up. I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's the Wizard of Oz vibe, like this shoe thing happening down here, or the angel wings or just the summer vibe of it all but I loved 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 the clip art the colors this girl is stunning again this is one of those kits that you could use it for summer you could use it for spring you could use it for you know if somebody you love has passed which obviously that happened to me last year and I could have used this kit but I chose another you can use it just for a day out like it's just it's one of those kits that you could use for many, many different things. So, so glad that I finally bought it. But those are your full boxes there. You then have your date headers, which are absolutely beautiful. The fact that it fades from that like purple, not fades, ombres down into the like orange and yellow color. Love, love, love that. You've then got your boxes and checklists. Oh, my page is stuck together there. Your littles. Now, this is on the premium mat. Normally, I would just get her regular matte paper because there's nothing wrong with it at all. But this time, I was like, you know what? I'm going to be fancy. I'm going to get the premium matte upgrade. So that's what I did here. You have your checklists, doodles, and page flags. And then, of course, you have your bottom washi, which is absolutely beautiful. 
and then your washi strips and you can tell here because i purchased oh i don't know if you you see it on camera but i purchased the glitter add-on as well but you can see this is just in the regular matte paper and then that's in her premium so you can kind of tell just by the vibrancy but i mean the regular matte is perfect like i use normally i would use that this is the first time that i've actually purchased the premium matte upgrade and then in addition to that you of course get your secondary option so you've got the different skin tone and hair color for each of those boxes there so that is venus beautiful kit i then also picked up the first snow kit in the premium matte upgrade so again i was looking for winter kits i think when i was purchasing these i figured that i would still be planning winter in my 2021 planner because i was so behind but i am not <laughs> they're done <laughs> But I figured that, it, again, it wouldn't hurt to stock up on winter kits now while everyone's selling winter kits so that when winter comes around for me, I've already got enough winter kits to cover winter. So I saw this art, the colours, the, like, cosy vibes, and I just knew that I wanted to use this for winter. I mean, look at the coffee cup, the tree. I mean, the hardest thing is it is very Christmas vibe. Like, that's a Christmas tree in the background. But at the same time... You can use it whenever, really. So I just figured that I would use it for winter this year. I will still probably include those boxes because obviously Christmas in Australia is during summer, so this doesn't fit, but it's still a really cute kit and I still really want to use it. So those are your full boxes and then it's going to be the same format, so I'm just going to flick through. So you've got your date headers, functional page, Littles, checklists, your bottom washi and your, well, just your washi page, I guess. And then, of course, I picked up the add-on as well. And then, again, for this kit, you have the Fashion Girl alternate options. So you've got the different skin tones and hair colours. And then for this one, you've got the different hand color and the different hair color. So plenty of options there for that kit. <coughs> Excuse me. We then have the next kit that I purchased, which is the festivities kit. And again, this was just a kit that when I saw it, I was like, I have to have that kit. So Again, Christmas has been and gone. I've already planned all of my kits for Christmas 2021. But I saw the colours of this and the puppy and the cute little... I don't know why, but this fashion girl actually reminds me of Anna. And I was just like, I have to have this. I mean, we're not really... Some people are big on this. That looks like kind of Tony. I don't know. But I thought that it would be handy to have another Christmas spread, Christmas kit on hand. Again, worst case scenario, I'm stocking up now for next year so that I don't have to buy any next year, which is the ultimate goal, right? I actually bought myself an album so that I could like pre-plan my kits so that I'm not overspending. So we will see how that works out. But at the moment, this is going to be in my 2022 Christmas lineup. We will see. Let's check back to this video <laughs> in January 2023 and see how we went. <laughs> but those are your full boxes. <laughs> Of course, your date headers, your functional boxes. I just really like that, like, it's a very traditional colorway, but, like, instead of gold, it's yellow. It's very bright, so I quite liked that. Your littles. And I do also have big plans that, like, when something in particular, like, when there's a particular event that occurs in my life, I, you know, Traditional, that's what I want this for as well. So I may not use it in 2022. Uh, your washi page. <clears throat> and then, of course, I picked up the glitter add-on. And then in addition to that, of course, you get the alternate fashion girls. Although, oh, yeah. So you get the alternate fashion girl for this box. And then you get the alternate Anna. But that's Anna. So, <laughs> but they are all beautiful. And I love that kit as well. And then again, I was shopping. I didn't know when or if they would come and they came now. So I probably could have used them because I haven't finished planning my Halloween spreads yet. But 
I picked up some Halloween spreads. So I've picked up Fright Night. And again, I just, the vibe, the bright colors, the greens with the oranges against the black, really, really cute. And definitely yeah. compared to the kits that I did choose for Halloween 2021, these are very different kits. So I'm glad that I have these. So again, same format. That's very like psychedelic. Full box, uh, not full boxes, functional boxes, littles, checklist page. I don't know why I get checklist pages. I never use them. Bottom washi. And then, of course, the glitter add-on as well. And then naturally, like all of Anna's kits, you then get the alternate skin tone options and the alternate fashion girl options. So that is Fright Night. And then last but not least, the final kit purchase that I made from Anna for the Black Friday sale was this beautiful spooky season kit. And I think the pink drew me to this kit. Again, it's very Halloween, but it's not your typical scary Halloween. And I usually opt for, like I was looking at a planner from Lush uh, two years ago and the Halloween spread that I did was like your killers with the blood and all of that sort of thing. So I figured it might be a nice change to do something different for Halloween 2022. So I picked up this kit here and I just thought the face mask, like, hello, <laughs> that's peak 2021, but I mean, it's probably going to be 2022 too, let's be honest. And then again, we've just got that same format as we've seen in all of the kits previous. And you can hear my husband opening and shutting the door. I'm assuming he's doing some cleaning downstairs. And then, of course, I picked up the glitter add-on as well. I hope that it hasn't gotten too dark. I feel like I really didn't want to do this because of the, like, overcast weather, but... <laughs> I kind of had to haul it. So I do apologize if it's very dark and shadowy. I will try and edit the video so it's a little bit brighter, but yeah, we'll see how that works. And then again, you've just got your fashion girls. So that was my quite hefty order from Planner Face, which I am so excited to put away and to start using. The next Black Friday order that I did was from a fellow Aussie store. So this is um, Planner Goddess Studio. And apparently I don't know how to open the cello. We got there in the end. So again, not a super, super big order, but I did pick up a few little things. <clears throat> so Let's grab out our freebies. Okay, so in terms of our freebies, we got this cute little journaling card with a little kitty. And it just has like a thank you on the back. So it's very postcard and it just talks about uh, thanking you for your support. Again, always appreciated. Absolutely not necessary, but such a lovely gesture. <clears throat> and then I got some extra freebies here. So this is the Black Friday sampler. So you've got some scripts there to say that you shopped the Black Friday sales. You've got some icons, a flat lay. So very functional sheet there. This was then the $25 freebie. So this is just the, like the equivalent of a, it looks like a half box, maybe slightly smaller. It's kind of between a third box and a half box. And you've got the option for a currently reading and a currently watching. And then I also got a Christmas freebie. So you've got like a full box there, flat lay, and then some functional like bucket list. So you've got watch a Christmas movie, Christmas shopping, and read a Christmas book. I don't know if I've ever read a Christmas book, to be honest. Maybe that's something I should add to my little bucket list for this year. I then picked up some of the washi tape. So Planet Goddess Studio does offer washi tape. So I've picked up four but they are just duplicates so they are like a thin i don't know if you can tell but they're like a thin line essentially so they're larger than a divider but smaller than like a full header overlay so i figured when i looked at these i figured that they would be something that i could bring in 
like between bottom washi or on top of bottom washi or to add into my headers to make them a little bit more decorative either on top of or underneath or if I wanted to alternate and instead of using glitter headers in every spread I could use these to like top off the full box which I am seeing quite a lot of in the planner community. People are using dividers on top of their full boxes instead of glitter headers. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to give these a go. So I picked up two of each, one in silver, one in gold. And then obviously, like I said, I got the two of each. So I actually got two of each of them. <laughs> so I thought I would give those a try. I picked up some scripts. So these are the custom scripts. So these are a black font on a transparent background. Um, so you basically, when you order these, you put in what script you want, you pick the font that you want, and then Vicky makes them and sends them out to you. So the first one that I got made was the wash hair script. I then picked up the laundry scripts because, I mean, I'm always and forever doing laundry. I really don't want to mark laundry in my planner, but, again, I feel like because my Monday to Friday is generally work, I just feel like that's all I ever do. Like I never have enough to mark a full week, so I tend to put in things like bills and laundry and food and that sort of thing when I don't have enough to mark to fill in a day. So I'll probably still be using laundry scripts in 2022. Apparently I got a second wash. Oh, okay. So I just got two of each. I thought that I got a variant, so I didn't. I just got two of the laundry, two laundry, and two wash hair. So that's fine. I'll use those most definitely. So, but yeah, like I said, custom. You can get any and every script that you want that way. And then I picked up some doodles and some like icons so she does have like a pink doodle style and then like regular icons so I'm just going to go through the pink doodles first so these are the pink doodles they're very paper shire-esque I know that these are huge in the planner community at the moment so I picked up these ones here so they're just like some little sneakers or joggers and I figured that you know when I get my butt back into gear for 2022 because every year I'm like I need to lose weight and then I do something about it for five minutes and then I stop but anyway <laughs> I figured that this would be a cute way to mark working out or going walking so I picked those up and then complete opposite direction to what I just said I picked up the pizza icons I mean, I don't eat pepperoni pizza, but I thought that these were really cute. And we do occasionally have pizza and pasta. So I figured that they would be a cute way to mark that. And then to bring it back home to our fitness goals, I picked up some little weights or dumbbells or whatever you want to call them. And again, I figured that they would be a cute way to mark working out or to put it in my sidebar to track like weigh-ins and progress and that sort of thing. So pick those up. Um, and then I got some tissue boxes. So hopefully I'm not going to need these, but it never hurts. I don't have a lot of like sick stickers. I have a lot of like headache stickers, but not very many sick stickers. Um, and I thought that these were really cute. So I thought that I would add those to my collection. And then back to regular icons. So again, in conjunction with those washing hair scripts, I picked up the washing hair character sticker. I also picked up the like game night or games sticker. So you've got like some tokens there. You've got some cards. You've got some little like, I don't know, pawns, I guess. Um, and again, I thought that these would be a super cute way of marking like games nights or like hanging out with the family and playing games. Or I know that hubby and I play a lot of games by ourselves together, but we do tend to play games with our family sometimes. So I thought that, that would be cute. And then I picked up some switch stickers. Um, so these are in the large and then they go down to a smaller size. And I have a lot of like multicolored ones, um, but I don't, I don't think there's many purple. And I figured that, you know, again, why not have an alternate version of the switch there? So that was the last doodle set that I got. And then I also picked up a kit. Again, I don't know what it was, but every time I looked at Vicky's website I just kept coming back to this kit and again it's very I don't know what it is it's very like Sicilian or like Gresham or well I just said it's very Sicilian and the kit's called Sicily so there you go um but I also thought that it would be the perfect way to 
like it's a perfect summer kit it's a vacay kit you know you've got your cocktails there it's a girls weekend away it's you know there's so many different ways that you could use this kit so I picked that one up um I really love this fashion girl and this fashion girl I think they're absolutely beautiful but then this fashion girl doesn't look like these two I don't know it's weird I don't know what's happening with fashion girls anyway moving on those are your full boxes <laughs> You then actually have a quote box as well. So it says life is better with gelato. So obviously if you wanted to use like to maximize your full spread, which is what I would normally do, I would use the quote box and then all of those boxes. But you could also opt not to and make your own or just use these and have one less box in your spread. I don't know. We will see how we go. But yes. So that's your bottom washi and your date headers. The colorway is beautiful. You then have your checklist and you've got some functional boxes down the bottom there. Your habit tracks, tracks, your habit trackers and then your full boxes and quarter boxes. You've then got your glitter headers. You've got some scallop boxes, your date dots, some decorative pieces and some mini checklists. And then, of course, you have your littles headers your littles and some extra boxes there so this format has definitely changed since the last kit that I purchased I know that Vicky was working on a reformat of all of her kits so really love that format and again like I said not a very big order but that was my order from Planner Goddess Studio and last but certainly not least we have my final order and what is probably my most anticipated order, which actually only arrived yesterday. <laughs> but we have my 2022 planner. So I'm not going to go into too much detail because I do want to do a planner lineup video. But my 2022 planner is the Harriet Wright Designs um, undated vertical planner. So I opted to get the black coil, which is, I don't know, to me, I feel like having a black coil, there's no contrast or no issues using any kit. Whereas I feel like, you know, if I have a silver coil and I'm using a rose gold, I'm, I don't know, I'm weird like that. Um, but with this kit, you do, sorry, with this planner, you do get the laminated cover. It is interchangeable, so you can clip and unclip as you please. But now I'm not – oh, yeah, there we go. Um, and you've got your clear tab. So unlike the Erin Condren, which I have been using for the longest time, I can actually put my own labels on here, which I do actually have. You get those as part of the purchase. So you purchase the planner. You purchase um, the tabs – well, not purchase. The tabs come included, but you pick – whether you want like a black or you want a foil. So I have a hollow foil that I have to go in and put on each of these months. Um, like I said, I don't want to go into too much detail, but you've got your vellum at the front here. You've got your front page, 2022. And then you've got your quotes. And then at the beginning of each month, you have like a grid page. Let me go into the, okay. That's the beginning. So this is jumping into January. So you've got like a goals page. I see a lot of people putting like different goals and birthdays and memories here. And then you go ahead and you jump into your monthly and then into your weekly spread. So I figured that this was it's a similar format to what I'm used to with the Erin Condren. Um, but I wanted something that was less white out -y. I liked the idea of having the super white paper. And I figured that because the format was so similar, I would be used to planning with it. Like it wouldn't be too much of a jump going from the Aaron Condren to this planner. And I wanted to support a small business. So that is my 2022 planner. Like I said, I will go through it in a bit more detail when I do my planner stack video. Because I do have another planner downstairs that I'm planning on using for this year that I don't think I even hold. So I'll do a bit more of that. And not only that, but like I said, I just wanted to get this haul done and it's now gotten really dark and overcast. I can see like the shadowing and stuff on the paper and I don't want you guys to see this planner in all of its glory in the darkness. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm at the end of my haul though because 
I feel like I can't really feel much more. So yes, my 2022 20, plan out from Harriet Wright Designs, which is really pretty. I'm very excited to start using that. Um, and then, like I said, this came as part of the purchase in a cute little envelope that I just destroyed. But inside the little envelope, you get like a little, if I can get it out, you get your thank you for purchasing card. You get some little decorative icons, which is cute. And then, like I said, for me, I picked up the hollow. So I'll have to go through and put all of those on at some point. So that is that. <coughs> but then I also picked up some other things. I also got some freebies because I most definitely did not order these, but there was this cute little cello bag in my order and I was like, hmm, what is that? Let me zoom back in a little bit. Um, and so I got a bunch of freebies. So I actually got some of the little like post-it tab things in like a brown and like an olive green and then I got the I think these are the transparent they may not be transparent they kind of look no they're not they're just regular I think um I got some post-it notes as well which come in super handy because I just went through oh my god I've been talking too much and I'm losing my voice and coughing and my throat's really dry love that um but I just used a whole stack of post-it notes to plan out my kits for, for this year. So it's handy. I've now essentially been restocked. And then I also got a pen. I don't know what the pen. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh, my God. And it's totally up my alley. So I got this beautiful pen. So you've got the gold barrel and then you have the little crystals in there. So you've got like gold, clear and pink. I don't know if that picks up, but so pretty. And like I said, definitely didn't order it, so it was free. Yep, and it's just a, like your regular ballpoint pen, but that is absolutely beautiful. So thank you. Thank you for that. I truly appreciate it. So those are the freebies. And then we jump into... I ordered some foiled icons and I ordered some kits. So in terms of my kits, let's do those first. Let's grab them out of the cellar. Okay, so let's try and do this. So I do have a couple of more freebies. So with my kits, I had this journaling card which says dream, plan, do in a gold foil on a black backing. And then as a result of spending so much I also got a free kit so I actually got a message via email to ask me what kit that I wanted for free and I chose this beautiful kit this is called reading list and this is very autumnal to me so again I sort of thought ahead and I was like hmm what kits am I going to need for next year when I plan now I did originally think that I wanted to change my planner style a little bit and start using some of these kits and using the florals and bringing in a lot more foil, but I don't know if I have the talent for it. I don't know if I have the knack for it. So we will see what happens when we start using these kits, but these kits are absolutely stunning. The paper is beautiful. I have used Harriet Wright Designs kits previously, but not for a long, long time, and her paper has changed. It's more buttery than it used to be but it was already buttery before so it is even more beautiful now um <clears throat> so these are your four boxes so this comes in a rose gold foil like I said very autumnal to me or like transitioning from autumn to winter we will see and then you get your full boxes. So again, the format has moved to change and align with the planner community and what they're doing at the moment. So you've got some squared off type boxes, your regu regular boxes, you've got some scallop boxes, some swatches, all for the purposes of lay, lay your ring. Oh my God. <laughs> um, you then get your header options with that foiled detail. And some checklists and then you've got again some more icons and like layering pieces down the bottom there. 
you have your date headers and your bottom washi, which I think is absolutely stunning. It's like writing. It looks like, you know, someone's bullet journaling or, you know, writing in a diary. And it is pouring rain. No wonder it is so overcast. And then we are back to the start. So the kids aren't very big, but there's more than enough there. And then as per the planner trend at the moment, you also then get a floral sheet included for your layering purposes. And then I also got some decorative freebies chucked in. So I received this beautiful gold foiled decorative. You've got your 2022 overlay. You've got some box overlays and some like string lights there. It is so hard. Like I can visibly see how dark it is on camera. I'm trying to pick up this foil is even harder now. Um, and then I got a $50 deco freebie. So I've got some swooshes. Um, you've got some like dangle or like icicle type lights, some extra swooshes there, some bows. And again, in that gold foil, absolutely beautiful. And then let's try and get through these kits before I lose all of the light. Um, but then I purchased some extra kits. So I purchased the peony kit because I love peonies and because, again, the vibes, the marble, the pink, the peonies, absolutely beautiful. And this is in a gold foil. And then again, it is that same format. That is beautiful. Just I don't know why I don't shop from this store more because her kits, like if my whole my whole planner for 2022 could be Harriet Wright design kits, I mean it could be if I purchase them, right? It's up to me. Bottom washing date headers. Like I would be one very, very happy human being. And then I don't think that one came with or I didn't pick it up, but there was no floral sheet with that one, which is fine. Because, again, like I said, I'm a little bit intimidated by the floral planning style. And then I also purchased the New Beginnings kit. So, again, this is in a gold and it says, Trust the Magic of New Beginnings. And I thought that this would be either a perfect, like, second week of January kit or just the refresh of a new season. So this could be the, like, beginning of spring because, to me, this screams spring. Again, we will see what happens when I plan out the rest of my spreads for the year. It's so dark outside now. Again, we have our boxes page. I don't know if you can hear that rain, but it sounds very, very heavy to me. I hope it brings a breeze because at the moment it's just like humid as heck and I'm so hot. Um, and then you've got your bottom washi again and your date headers. And we are back to the start. And again, with this one, there was also a floral add-on piece. Now, I feel like this is going to be very difficult for you guys to see, but this is the last thing I have to show you. So I'm going to try and get through it as quickly as I can. And then I'm probably going to have to show you everything else off camera. I'm also going to have to close that door so you can actually hear what I'm saying. Um, so I've gone ahead and I've purchased some like decorative type foil boxes so i've got a rose gold a silver and a gold here i don't know if oh yeah we'll pick up ever so slightly but again i figured that i would try something new and try and be a little bit different in 2022 even if i don't commit to the full foil floral deco situation i can at least try something different and then I've picked up the 2022 holidays in all of the different colors so I've got gold as you can see because it's quite blinding <laughs> the rose gold which is definitely more of a copper to me silver which also looks gold on camera which is quite interesting and then in hollow as well because I want to be more conscious of marking like the change of seasons um, and the different months of the year we'll see how we go 
I would usually take a bit more time in these in showing these, but like I said, it's gotten so dark and it's kind of, it's ruining, like hauls are my favorite videos to film, but now that my bedroom is literally yellow and it's so gray outside, like I was going to film a plan with me after this. I don't even know if I'm going to do that now because it's so dark on the screen. And I'm kind of sad that my like unboxing of my planner was in such overcast weather. Like I said, I'll do it in better weather, but <clears throat> kind of sad that that was the experience. But anyway, I then got these like twinkle clusters or confetti clusters in each of the foils because <clears throat> I need to rebuild my foil collection. I picked up some of the squared off boxes. So these ones I got in the <clears throat> silver, rose gold and gold. So I'm trying, I'm going to try some new stuff. Um, I then picked up some date dots, but I'm actually quite annoyed because I thought that I selected the clear option and I very clearly did not. So now they're all on a white backing. So we will see if I actually use those or if I desash them. Um, but again, four coil colors. So you've got silver, gold, rose gold, and hollow. <clears throat> oh no, I did the same thing with the headers. I'm so annoyed. Okay, anyway. Um, I also then picked up the months and seasons script in four of the core foils because again I don't know how I want to mark each of the months in my planner for next uh, this year I keep saying next year but we're in 2022 um so I figured that having some foiled options wouldn't hurt <clears throat> so I picked up those I'm losing my voice can you tell <clears throat> I'm gonna have to keep doing that on camera every five seconds And then I picked up some sparkle clusters, but I picked up the sparkle clusters in each of the core foils times two. So I've got, let me try and, And these are sort of like sparkly, like galaxy type. I don't know. They're different to the others. The others were just like a general confetti. But, I mean, I guess these are called sparkle, so that's the vibe. And then I picked up some of the swirl dividers. Again, one of each foil. And then this is where I'm annoyed at myself because I was under the impression and I'm going to have to check my invoice because I was under the impression that these were on a transparent background, which is why I purchased them to begin with. Um, but I purchased some dividers. So again, all of the foil colors, but I was under the impression that they would come on transparent paper. <coughs> Excuse me. So that these could then top, bottom, or be used on my date header. Like the, the top section of my date headers. So now I don't know how I'm gonna use these. They're probably just gonna have to be dividers in my like daily planning. Cause I'm not gonna be able to use them the way that I wanted to which is quite annoying, particularly these ones, because again, I've seen so many people use these on their date covers. <clears throat> and I think they're absolutely beautiful, but naturally mine didn't come on transparent paper. So that is fantastic. But that is everything that I purchased from Harriet Wright Designs. But that is everything you guys, that is my planner haul. It's probably gonna be the last planner haul for a little while, to be honest, because I did purchase quite a bit more than I thought. <laughs> um, it was a very long video, so if you are still here, definitely leave some comment or, you know what, if you're still here, literally just write 2022 in the comments below so that I know that you have patiently waited through this entire video with me. Uh, but yeah, 
I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing the massive dent on my wallet and bank account. But I am very, very happy with all of my purchases. I will hopefully see you guys very, very soon with another plan with me video because like I said, I think a plan a haul video probably won't happen for another, I don't know, let's just say a couple of weeks at least because there are a couple of things that I want to pick up, but we will see. Anyway, you guys, that is everything that I have for you for this haul video. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing and I will see you all with another video very, very soon. Bye for now.